Okay, I've added on uh, vectoring that we can so make it easier to see what's going on. These are the three kite vectors lifting out of the, the top frame. And uh, there's our load vector. Now the load one pulls on this central part here, heading back towards the the center. And as you adjust that load, say I release it, the, the frame stands up a wee bit tighter in the middle, put more on, it stands, you know, it gets hauled down like that. Uh, you can adjust the various factors, say the line tension, the the line drag, and the line weight. So if it, you know, if it was really thick line, it would tend to be hauling down like that. You can, in the model now, improve the the kite lift. Say if I, you know, if I grow those vectors up top, and it stands really tall. If I shrink them, the system's a wee bit more saggy. Um, is shrinking. That's the generally what happens. Now the initial set point of this, I'll show you that. This is the initial set point. And so I've got a triangle. I don't mind that those aren't there just now. Those are connected in the physical model. Um, I've got a regular equilateral triangle there just so that it can be tessellated um, across a landscape. And the kite vectoring here is set as per earlier demonstrations I was showing you from the loft where you'd have your vectoring point from the average tension of a net. So this really does describe, you know, w with a three point net, you'd probably expect that to be smaller inside the tethering circle in order to get these results. Um, but if you wanted to tessellate this, I guess that's possible over a large scale, you might be able to get, you'd certainly be able to get a straight up vectoring um, over a large scale, you would with this not so with, with a small system like this it wouldn't be so easy i guess you could set directly from your downline anyway um what i'm trying to show you here is i've also got some rotation built in so i can turn the wind around uh, i'll turn on the model so you can see that going so there we are there uh, that's settled nicely, and I'll just turn the wind around a bit. That's coming around towards us. If I move around, we can see it's settled in that new position. Uh, move it around a fair bit over there, and yeah, off we go. So it's it's a bit of an improvement on on looking at the system and seeing how we can haul things up above that point in space and keep it nice and steady.